Just nine days ago, Eddie Lawhorn here from Huntsville, Alabama, lost his job as a computer programmer. But things are looking up, right, Eddie? He's already won 50000 and in the few moments he'll be playing for 100000 just far away from the million as the return of Mega Dad of Primetime continues. Eddie Lawhorn just the other night won the fastest finger, and uh, well, nobody else ever came out of that fastest finger section like you did. Take a look at Eddie Lawhorn winning the first fastest finger. <laughs> Looked just like Fred Astaire. <laughs> Anyway, Eddie, uh, it's good to see you again. You did very well the other night. You won 50000 and going for 100000 But tell us about, uh, well, like so many people who've been on the show already, you just lost your job recently, right? That's correct. Yeah, so you went out on, uh, on a little job hunt. Right. And tell us what happened. Well, I was in the middle of a job interview uh, just a few days after I got the word, and Millionaire called up right in the middle of the interview. <laughs> <laughs> Made for a great interview. Uh, yeah. <laughs> remember so was the guy who was interviewing you very impressed that, sure enough, millionaire begging you to come on the show? I hope so. <laughs> I haven't heard back from him yet. You didn't give up the job, did you? Not yet. No. <laughs> let's hope you have a big night tonight. Now, let's go to work here, all right? You're just four questions away from winning one million dollars here. And what you have in terms of the lifelines, you have... A double dip, and you can ask the expert lifelines. And today's expert is the lovely Connie Chung. And our video link has just broken down with her, but we will be with her via telephone. So if you need Connie, she's standing by, okay? All right, so here we go. Want to say hello to Connie? Can you yes, hear me? I can hear you. Oh, good. <laughs> Well, we're fine, Connie. Uh, I'm sorry that I can't take another look at you. You know, for years I've admired you. Well, read. <laughs> Connie, nice to talk to you. We'll, we'll get right back to you if Eddie needs a little help here. All right, so Eddie, come on now. This is it. Now, incidentally, if you at home want to play along with Eddie, just go to abc.com right now and have some fun with this. Okay, Eddie, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? Let's play. Here it comes, Eddie, for $100,000, 45 seconds on the clock. Take a look at this. On The Simpsons, which of these pairs of characters is typically voiced by the same person? Apu and Mr. Burns, Moe and Krusty the Clown, Ned Flanders and Principal Skinner, Kent Brockman and Maya Quimby. I don't watch The Simpsons regularly. Let's ask the expert. Okay, Connie, yeah, I hope you're still standing by. We have a question for you. Okay. All right, fine. Here is the question, and incidentally, our friend is going for $100,000 on this question. Wow, Eddie. On The Simpsons, which of these pairs of characters is typically voiced by the same person? Apu and Mr. Burns, Moe and Krusty the Clown, Ned Flanders and Principal Skinner, and Kent Brockman and Maya Quimby. Those are the four possibilities. Wow. Yeah. yeah. If you haven't watched the show, it's a tough one. Great. It is. I think I don't want to do this to Eddie. Can <laughs> Eddie uh, pass on me? Yeah. Well, yeah. We, yeah. He still has one, uh, one, one more lifeline. Life Eddie, will you forgive me? Sure. 
I, really? I don't know it either, so <laughs> okay. I appreciate the help. You understand now, you've got to stay by the phone because we have more contestants coming on the show. So who knows, maybe we'll call you again, okay? Okie doke. All right, fine. Now, Eddie, back to you. 25 seconds on the clock. The clock starts now. You still have a uh, double dip. but Without being able to cut it down any, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm you're going to take the 50000 Eddie? 50000 is going to be a big help to me. And so here it is for you, Mr. That'll be my final answer. Smart decision. I know that 50000 is going to really make a big difference for Eddie and his wife, and I wish them well. Now, the answer to the question was Ned Flanders and Principal Skinner, both voiced by Harry Shear. But now, let's meet the 10 brand new contestants who have flown in from all across the country with their sights set on $1 million. And they are Mike Crane, Novi, Michigan, Stephanie Osorio, Gainesville, Florida. Richard Meisner, New York, New York. Ellen Gaines, Dunsville, Virginia. Leah Asbury, Fire, Oklahoma. Dale Shackley, Stanwood, Washington. Renee Van Landingham, Pendleton, Indiana. Rebecca Kessler, Van Buren Township, Michigan. Steve Elia, Vail, Arizona. And Betty Schultz, East Palo Alto, California. Looks like a looks like a good bunch tonight. Okay, everybody get ready because here it is. Tonight's first fastest finger question. Put these musical food groups in the order in which they released their debut albums, starting with the earliest. Red Hot Chili Peppers, Cream, The Black Eyed Peas, The Cranberries. Let's see the answer in the correct order now, starting with the earliest. Cream, red hot chili peppers, the cranberries, the black eyed peas. Let's see who got it right, and then the fastest time. And the winner is Rebecca Kessler. Rebecca Kessler, there she is, right there. We're going to go to a break, we'll be right back in a moment. Rebecca! former attorney, now a stay-at-home mom from uh, Van Buren Township, Michigan, just outside of Detroit, huh? Yes. Nice to have you here. Nice to just be here. Just had uh, twin, twin sons. Twin, they're 18 months. They're 18 months, yes. and this is the first time you're really away from them. Yes. How do you feel? A little uh, nerve-wracking. It's hard to be away from them. Yeah. I've been calling the house a lot, making sure they're okay. <laughs> 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 Sounds like you're having a pretty good time in the meantime. Yes, yes. Good for you. You deserve a little fun. Yes. And is that your husband back there, Tim? It is, yes. Hi, Tim. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Welcome back. Uh, Tim at one time sat in just where you just won uh, the right he, to sit in that did, hot yeah. seat. He did, yeah. He was on Super Millionaire. Yeah, but he didn't get into the seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rebecca, you know you're 15 questions away from winning the $1 million. Mm -hmm. And so... Uh, You'll start out with the three lifelines, a phone a friend, to ask the audience and the double dip. And if you would get to the $1,000 level, then we'll be able to call Connie Chung again and get her involved. Ready to go? I am ready. Yeah, let's play millionaire right now. Okay, Rebecca, 15 seconds on the clock. Take a look at this one. What reality TV show's 2009 finale featured a marriage proposal with a $60,000 diamond engagement ring? Was it The Amazing Race, The Bachelorette, Dancing with the Stars, America's Next Top Divorce? Um, I'm going to say B, The Bachelorette. That's my final answer. And that's the right answer. Coming up, $200 question. <coughs> a popular candy store item, Twix BP. Are Twix bars with what added flavor? Pancake batter, peach brandy, peanut butter, pickled brine. While I'm sure pickled brine would make a lovely candy bar, the answer is peanut butter. That's my final answer. Peanut butter it is. We go for 300 right now. 
Which of the following is a classic men's toiletry brand and not one of the Spice Girls? <laughs> Ginger Spice, Baby Spice, Scary Spice, or Old Spice? Well, like many women my age, I love the Spice Girls, so I'm going to say D, Old Spice, final answer. Yeah, it's Old Spice. $500. Presumably named after the love of his life, the olive is a boat that belongs to what cartoon character? Yogi Bear, Fred Flintstone, Popeye, or George Jetson? Um, I'm going to say the answer is C, Popeye, after olive oil. That's my final answer. Yes, it's Popeye. <laughs> Doing very well, Rebecca. All of a sudden, you're up to $1,000. Here it is at the French restaurant. What type of beverage will you get if you order Un Citron Presse? Lemonade, iced tea, hot chocolate, root beer. I'm not 100% positive on this one, but I believe Citron in French means lemon, so I'm going to say A, lemonade, final answer. Just won $1,000. Okay, we're up to that $1,000 level, and now you've earned the right to ask our expert, Connie Chung, when you need her, okay? Fantastic. 30 seconds now on the clock. Here we go for $2,000. If ASAP is too long, text messages can type what three-letter abbreviation to mean immediately? BTW, PDQ, TMI, LOL. Immediately. Immediately. I am going to, I know it's not TMI, that's too much information. LOL is laughing out loud. BTW, BTW I think it's by the way. So I'm going to say B, P, D, Q, final answer. Yes, for $2,000. <laughs> PDQ, maybe you go on quick. Nine away from the million dollars right now, Rebecca. We're going for 4,000. Check it out. A medical device used to monitor blood oxygen levels. A pulse oximeter is almost always attached to what part of the body? Would it be the chest, upper arm, ankle, fingertip? Uh, having asthma, I know this very well. <laughs> the answer is D, fingertip. Final answer. Got it again. Wow. You're doing very well. Thank you know, you. you're up to 8,000 right now. Let's see what this looks like. Sousaphone player Damon Bryson, a member of the late night hip hop band The Roots, is physically known by what nickname? Tuba Gooding Jr., Donald Trumpet, Mean Banjo Green, Harmonica Sellers. Well, I do not know this at all, so I'm going to use one of my lifelines. I want to ask the audience. Okay, let's ask the audience. Audience, Rebecca needs your help. On your keypads, audience, vote now. Okay, so 66% uh, of the audience said Tuba Gooding Jr. Mean Banjo Green came in second at 15%. I'm going to go with the audience and say a Tuba Gooding Jr. final answer. He's going with the audience, and the audience is right! Yeah! She's won $8,000. Silta Cup daytime TV host and best selling author Rachel Ray plays one question for her favorite show. We'll be right back in a moment. Uh, hi, Dad. Hi. Uh, I don't really need your help, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm going to win the million dollars. <laughs> uh, because the U.S. president appeared on Laughing is Richard Nixon. That's my final answer. This is the final answer heard all around the world. 
He's won a million dollars. Contestant in the history of Millionaire, our very first million dollar winner, John Carpenter, who is sitting with us tonight in the audience. John, it's great to see you again. Good to see you. And sitting next to John is his father, Tom, whom he called that fateful night. But he didn't need your help. He never did. <laughs> and who, who else did you bring with you? I uh, brought my wife, Debbie, oh, and sure. uh, our five-year-old son, Nicholas. Hey, Nicholas, how you doing? Debbie, good to see you. Well, you know, John, some people misinterpreted the way you answered that question. How could they? <laughs> <laughs> well, you looked a little, little sure of yourself. <laughs> well, well, I, you know, it could have gone a lot worse. I could have said Jimmy Carter. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. But you won the million dollars, and as I recall, uh, what your uh, wife, Debbie, wanted from uh, that little payoff was maybe a trip to Paris. And did that ever happen, Debbie? She's, uh, she's been there twice. <laughs> but not with him. <laughs> but not before with she knew me. <laughs> so, John, do you have any of the million left? A little bit, yeah. 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 Well, all right, it's great to have you here again. You were, you were really the guy they all remembered, and certainly I do, the first millionaire we had on this show. Thank you so much for coming. Great to be back. Rebecca Kessler from Michigan, you see what can happen to you? Yes. Listen, you're doing very, very well here. You're seven away from the million. You're going for 16,000. All set to go? Yes. Let's play millionaire right now. Okay, Rebecca, take a look at this. 30 seconds around the clock. And what world-famous building has a roof that was reportedly inspired by the sections of an orange? Pompidou Center. Guggenheim Museum, Bilbao, Sydney Opera House, Sears Tower. I'm going to guess on this one because I'm pretty sure, and hopefully I'm not wrong and my husband's not going to kill me, but I'm going to say the Sydney Opera House. That's my final answer. Well, you've got a lot of guts guessing at this early on the show, but let's see, you said the Guggenheim? No, the Sydney Opera House. Oh, the Sydney Opera House. <laughs> you got it, kiddo. <laughs> but you know, I think you're very wise. You're very wise to save as many lifelines as you can. <clears throat> okay, 25,000 coming up. It's a big one. And here it is. A psychopathic killer S. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss in a chilling scene from what acclaimed movie? There will be blood. No country for old men. Michael Clayton, 310 to Yuma. I don't know. You got a movie buff among your friends? Yeah, I'm gonna phone a friend. You haven't seen any of these movies? I have not seen okay, any of these Okay, you've been movies. busy with the little boys. Yes. Okay, um, so let's see who uh, is standing by for you, okay? I, uh, your brother David, your yes. sister uh, Kelly, and your friend Sarah. Yes, and I think I'm going to go with Sarah. She's a movie fan? She's a movie buff. All right, AT&T, we need that movie buff on the line right now. Please get us Sarah. Hello? Hello, Sarah. Yes. Yes, hi, Regis Philbin calling Regis. from Michigan. How are you? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> nice to talk with you, Sarah. <laughs> We're so happy that you're a movie fan. And so oh. uh, she is going to now give you the, uh, the question and the four possible answers. You have 30 seconds, and it starts right now. Sarah, a psychopathic killer asks, what's the most you ever lost on a coin toss in a chilling scene from what movie? There will be blood, no country for old men, Michael Clayton, or 310 to Yuma. The question is, psychopathic killer asks, what is the most you ever lost on a coin toss? There will um, be you got no country for old men. Hold on one second. You got five seconds, it. five seconds. No country for old men. Okay, now, now you have, uh, thank you very much, Sarah. You have 15 seconds right now to uh, think about this. And she said, no country for old men. So I'm going to gonna trust my friend Sarah. And All I'm right. going to say, B, no country for old men. Final answer. No country for old men. 
Sarah did it! Yeah! back to this 10th anniversary celebration of Millionaire. Now, if you at home think that you can handle the pressure of the hot seat like Rebecca and deserve your shot at winning $1 million on the weekday version of our show, go to abc.com for more information, okay? Yes, and this is our 10th anniversary and yours as well. Yes, my husband and I's 10th wedding anniversary is August 7th. Is that right? Well, happy anniversary. Thank you. Tim? Tim, do you remember when you met Rebecca? Yes. Where was it? <laughs> uh, she was a hostess at a Mountain Jacks, and I was a waiter. <laughs> the hostess and the waiter, what a story. <laughs> and so who made the first move here? I'm not sure I remember. <laughs> that was a long time ago. It well, I know, I know. And you were only a waiter, you know, so you had a lot of respect for you. There your was host. a little alcohol involved in that incident. Oh, really? <laughs> Right. <laughs> Seemed to work out just fine. Happy anniversary to you, Tim, too. Thank you. <laughs> so now we're going for $50,000. You're five questions away from the million. Let's play. <laughs> 45 seconds on the clock. The Secret Service reportedly refer to Malia and Sasha Obama by what code names? Radiance and Rosebud, Twist and Shout, Junebug and Kitty Cat, Pigtail and Ponytail. I don't know, so I'm going to ask the expert. I think Connie Chung might know this one. All right, yeah, Connie <laughs> Chung might know this one, sure. The clock is stopped at 35 seconds, and let's try to get Connie Chung on the phone right now. Hi, Regent. Hi, Hi Connie, how you doing? Good, how are you? Where are you, anyway? Montana. Really? Yeah, Montana. <laughs> Don't tell me that's Maury. No, that's me, but Regis, if you dump Joel, I'll dump Maury. <laughs> Connie, you're getting us in a lot of trouble here. <laughs> but anyway, we have another question for you. Okay. All right, our next contestant, Rebecca Kessler from Michigan, is going for $50,000. Wow. And I'm going to read you the question now, okay? And okay. And the four possible answers. So the Secret Service reportedly referred to Malia and Sasha Obama by what code names? Radiance and Rosebud, Twist and Shout, Junebug and Kitty Cat, or Pigtail and Ponytail? <laughs> I would say Rebecca A. Well, how sure are you, Connie? I'm not that sure. No? 50% maybe? I think... 50% for sure. All right. <laughs> okay, Connie. Well, well, so we have a little decision to make here. You've got 35 seconds on the clock. <laughs> Connie, thanks very much. So the clock's going to start now. Okay. You can always go I'm to I'm at your... 25 right now, right? Which I'm locked in at. You're locked 25,000. You're going to. And if for I 50. guess for 50 and I get it wrong, I still get the 25. Right, exactly. So I am going to guess because my thought was Radiance and Rosebud as well. But since she's saying it too, I'm, I'm going to guess for it. And I'm going right. to say A, Radiance and Rosebud, final answer. Okay. Radiance and Rosebud. Connie Chunk said it. You said it. You're both right. Yeah. She's won 50000 She's going for 100000 right now, and she has one lifeline left. Tim, how do you feel about all this? Good. Yeah? Feel strong. <laughs> feel confident. Yes, sir. What are you going to do with some of this money? Go out to dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like you guys haven't eaten in a while. <laughs> so, are you all set to go here? I am Got ready to one lifeline left. Let's play millionaire. Okay, Rebecca, 45 seconds on the clock. Here it is for $100,000.
In 2009, the presidency of the European Union was passed from the Czech Republic to Sweden with a symbolic handover of a what? A wheel of cheese, a wooden marionette, a crystal lantern, a cake of beer. From the Czech Republic to Sweden. Seconds. I do not know, so I am going to walk away. No double dip for you, right? If I double dip and I'm wrong, I'm going to lose it. So uh, you're absolutely right. You're going to go with $50,000, <laughs> though. That's not bad. It's great, Rebecca. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Another smart decision. The answer was a keg of beer, and that's how they handled the transfer of power in Europe. <laughs> but now we still have nine contestants ready to play the next fastest finger question, and here it comes. Put these Sports Illustrated swimsuit edition cover models in the order in which they first appeared on the cover, starting with the earliest. Tyra Banks, Christy Brinkley, Ma Raffaelli and L. McPherson. Okay, let's see that answer now in the correct order, starting with the earliest model, and it was Christy Brinkley, and then L. McPherson, then Tyra Banks, and then Ma Raffaelli. And the winner is the fastest finger. Yes! Gaines, a gym teacher from Dunsville, Virginia, yes, right? Sir. Yes. Nice to have you here. 24 years you've been teaching women's basketball. Coach girls basketball and softball at Rappahannock High School. Oh, uh, good for you. Well, it's great to have you here. You must be excited about being here. All right, so you're just 15 questions away from winning a million dollars, Ellen. You know about the rules, the clock, and the lifelines. So are you ready, Ellen? Let's play millionaire. Okay, here we go. Got the 15 seconds on the clock, Ellen. Take a look at this question. In fancy hotels, it is traditional for what tantalizing treat to be left on your pillow? A pretzel, an apple, a mint, a photo of a wolf. That would be a mint, my final answer. Yes, a mint. That's what you get. $200. A spud spike is a kitchen gadget commonly used to prepare which of the following? Baked potato, macaroni and cheese, onion rings, French toast. I would say a baked potato, final answer. Yes, you got it right, spud spike, baked potato. Here it is, Ellen, for $300. The 2008 autobiography, Me Cheetah, was written by Tarzan's famous sidekick, who is what kind of animal? Tiger, elephant, snake, chimpanzee. I would say that would be D, chimpanzee. Me, cheetah, chimpanzee. Final answer? Yes, my final answer. Yeah, you got it. $300. $500. Appropriately, the Spanish word for heaven, cielo, is also the word for what? Lake, forest, sky, cave, cielo. Well, since heaven is in the sky, sky, final answer. Yes, you got $500. All right, Ellen. For the $1,000 question, in a New York Times Election Day crossword puzzle, which of these answers had the clue blue state and not red state? Melancholy, communism, outrage, insolvency. I would say uh, 
B, communism, final answer. No, no, Ellen, I'm sorry. No. Melancholy. <laughs> Melancholy, blue stick. Oh, Ellen, I'm so sorry. Well, I've nothing to give you either. Oh, God. We'll take a break. We'll come right back. Thank you, Ellen. I'm sorry. Welcome back to night six of an 11 night event, the return of the millionaire to prime time. And if you're just joining us, we've experienced the extremes of our show. Just tonight, two $50,000 winners and then poor Ellen Gaines, who just left with nothing. It can happen either way. But we still have eight more contestants dying to play the next fastest finger question. Here it comes. Put these Martin Scorsese films in order of their first theatrical release, starting with the earliest. Gangs of New York, Goodfellas, The Departed, Casino. All right, let's see the answer now in the correct order, starting with the earliest Scorsese film. And it was Goodfellas, and then came Casino, then The Gangs of New York, then The Departed. Now let's see who got it right. It is the fastest time, and the winner is <laughs> Leah Asbury. Hey, Leah, how are you? Good to see you. Come on up here. <laughs> Leah Asbury. Friar, Oklahoma, and you're going to college. Yes, I am. Good I for am. you. Thank what do you. What do you study? Uh, I am uh, studying fine arts. I want to be a graphic designer. Uh-huh. Uh, mainly because I can go anywhere with that. And uh, I, I'd like to uh, get out of Oklahoma, basically. <laughs> That's my goal. <laughs> Leah, Leah. <laughs> uh, it's a great state, and I don't want to be getting any angry emails uh, when I get home. Oh, I don't think you will. <laughs> That's Michael. I'd love to. I'd love to move here. Sure. I love the city so far. So. You know, I'm fascinated by the way you're dressed. Why? Yes, Thank you look you. like a a young Peter Potter. <laughs> no, Peter Potter. What? The hell? What's his name? <laughs> Harry Potter. <laughs> Potter. <laughs> nice to have you here. You know what it is. You're 15 questions away from winning the million. You know about the rules, the clock, and the lifeline. You're ready to play, Leah. I am yes, so she ready. is. Let's play billionaire. <laughs> Here we go, Leah. 15 seconds on the clock. Here it is for $100. When dancing the hokey pokey, after you put your right hand in and then out, then in again, what should you do next? <laughs> put it in your pocket, <laughs> shake it all about, show it to a friend, <laughs> get some Purell on it. Well, depending on the situation, you might want some Purell, but I know the answer is B, final answer. B, final answer. Yes, yes shake it all about. Leah, here we go for 200. The Energizer Bunny is the same type of animal as which of these other ad mascots? Toucan Sam, Charlie Tuna, Trix Rabbit, Tony the Tiger. <laughs> C, Trix Rabbit, final answer. Yes, Trix Rabbit. 300, Leah, you're hot. <laughs> In TV and film, bank robbers are often depicted listening to the door of a vault with what medical instrument? A stethoscope, a tongue depressor, syringe, thermometer. <laughs> a stethoscope, final answer. <laughs> yes, $300. He's up to 500 <laughs> Expected to open in 2012, the Louvre Abu Dhabi, like its Paris counterpart, will be a multi-million dollar what? Amusement park, museum, sports arena, or zoo? Uh, B, museum, final answer. Yes! $500! Featured on a jokey apron, the phrase déjà vu is defined as the feeling that you had this what before. <laughs> Ketchup, <laughs> maple syrup, mustard, or salsa? C, mustard, final answer. Absolutely, for $1,000. Wow. Just made it to the $1,000 level, and you've earned the right.
to ask our expert, Connie Chung. Well, let's put 30 seconds on the clock right now and continue for $2,000. Here it is. Capable of storing up to 200 gallons of water, a saguaro is a type of what? Orchid, cactus, mushroom, or fern? Um, well, I know that uh, in the desert, cacti have to hold in all the water that they can get when it rains, mm -hmm. the little that it does. But I'm not 100% sure, and I'm, I'm going to feel like a total nerd for doing this, but I'd like to ask the audience. Want to ask the audience? Sure, mm -hmm. we could do that. The clock is stopped. Audience, here we go. On your keypads now, audience. If you're ready, vote now. <laughs> All right. And I do feel like Let's see what I the do. audience had to say. And, of I course, 94% just what you said, Cactus. So what <laughs> yes. do you think now? Well, now I'm pretty sure. Uh, I want to thank the audience. And my final answer is B, Cactus. <laughs> final answer. Yes, he won. Call it quits for Leah right there. Leah, you're doing very well. When we come back, the celebrity chef and TV host Rachel Ray will play one question for $50,000 for her favorite charities as we turn the minute and prime time continues. We'll see you tomorrow night. Robert, I'll make you an offer. I'll buy your patent for $500,000. 100% of it. I want to separate you from the patent. And I don't want you to call me ever again. Robert, I'll make you a better offer. I'll give you a million dollars for 100% of the patent, and you can call me once. ABC series called Shark Tank, which airs tonight right after our Millionaire Show. And with us in the audience are two of the sharks from that tank. Please welcome Kevin O'Leary and Robert Jerkovic. Nice to have you here, guys. Now, this is a show where, where five very wealthy guys who are made of the hard way, but nevertheless are now financial uh, independents, uh, get together on this uh, panel to, to back the young entrepreneurs. Well, it's our own money, Regis. That's the key. We're just like you. We give people a chance to make millions, yeah. but we invest our own millions for a stake in their company. Aha, uh -huh. good for you. And there are five of you. There are five of us. There are some good ones and there are some bad ones. And sometimes we get along and sometimes Well, are you we good sharks or are you bad no, sharks? Listen, it, it, it works this way. They've got about 90 seconds to explain why I can make money. That's what matters. We're right. the investors. Mm -hmm. Think about that moment in time. It's freedom if you can convince us to invest in you and you're successful. I think it's a great idea for a show. Incidentally, would either of you uh, tried to back our show? <laughs> <laughs> you're too tough to work with. <laughs> Coming up at, uh, at 9 o'clock. Nice to have you, and good luck to you, okay? And all Thank the you. sharks out there. All right. Our celebrity for tonight is a lovely gal who has already won two Emmys and nominated for a third. And you see her all the time in the morning on uh, her own syndicated show and at night on the Food Channel. Here's Rachel Ray. <laughs> Ray, always so much going on, and I don't know how you do it all, honestly. Caffeine. <laughs> that's Happy your... anniversary. I think I owe you now another dinner. I'll have to have you over again. With your oh, yes, wife. that's right. Well, thank you very much, and the same to you. Thank you. Now, so tell me, you've got a new book coming out. There's always a new Rachel Ray yeah, book. Yeah, this year it's, it's the best of, so it was kind of a low-maintenance book for me. They took all of the most requested and family favorites. Took the easy good. way out. Yes, huh? I did. <laughs> And congratulations again on Best Talk Show. Uh, Thank you. Best Talk Thank Show you. host for the Thank Emmys this year. Good for you. 
So now, uh, what charity are we playing for tonight, Rachel? Actually, we're going to divide it 50-50 between two. We have our Yummo charity. That's a charitable organization that I started where mm -hmm. we, uh, we have a scholarship fund for kids who want to go into, uh, well, food is a way to make a living. Right. Um, and we help to feed the, the hungry. And we have an awareness program with President Clinton's Alliance for Healthier Generation to get families eating a little better. Mm -hmm. And then also, I created a line of uh, really healthy uh, pet food. And all of my proceeds, 100%, go to Animal Rescue. So we're going to give half to North Shore Animal League, who we support very heavily. Wow. You know, she really is one terrific person. We're I'm happy so, to have you I'm tonight. I'm so nervous. Can I ask you, Regis, yes. how many of these questions have, have you ever figured it out in your head? What's the percentage? How many did you know? 98. Oh. <laughs> Just at the time I was waiting to come out here, I think I've blown it three times oh, already. Oh, no, no, no. But here's so the deal. You know what we're doing. We're going to ask you one question. Yeah. You give us the correct answer. We will add 25000 to the 25000 you already have okay. for both your charities. Okay. Good. Okay? All right. So you get to choose any one of our lifelines. You phone a friend, ask the audience, a double dip, or you can ask our expert, who tonight is Miss Connie Chung. Yes. All right. Let's play billionaire <laughs> with Rachel Ray. Your only question, Rachel. Which of the following is a true statement about the letters in the standard Google logo? Both O's are yellow. Oh, no. <laughs> Both C's, G's are blue. The L is red. The E is green. Now, this, we want a true statement about the letters in the Google logo. I am, I'm a Googleless person. I... Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if Connie Chung Googles a lot. Um, my, my phone a friend is the president of the Free Network. She told me not to call her about anything that was pop culture. I don't know if she Googles a lot. You know what? I've been watching backstage, and I think the audience is going to be my best bet here. Well. Now, come on, it's for puppies and children. So give, give me audience. your best shot, Googlers. <laughs> okay, audience. Rachel needs your help, then. On your keypads, oh, audience. Lord. Please. Vote now. Okay, Rachel, the oh, audience has really? voted. <laughs> well, both O's are yellow. Well, both G's are blue. Got 49%. That's right, almost 50. Right, but I, you know, I wanted a clear, you know, I was looking for an 80 Rachel, or you more. came to the wrong place, baby. <laughs> All right, well, I have to go with the audience. I truly have absolutely no idea. The I'm going to go with the, the audience. I'm going to say both G's are blue. Uh, B, 49% of you say that's it, and I'm going to go with you. That's my gonna, final answer. She made her final answer. Oh, boy, for puppies and children, and the audience came through. <laughs> Thank you very much, Rachel Ray. Our expert, Connie Chung, thank you. And thank you, all of our contestants. Remember, Leah Asbury will be back Monday night going for $4,000.